Diploma in Cognitive Behavioral Therapy Unit 2. Course Author, Mr. John Crimmins. Institute Director. There are a variety of techniques to help people change the kind of thinking that leads them to become depressed. These techniques are called Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. Unit Contents. Behavioral Psychology. Operant Conditioning. Positive and Negative Reinforcement. Consequences for Behaviors. Applying Operant Conditioning. Behavior Modification. Skinner and Pavlov. Classical Conditioning. Albert Bandura. Self-Efficacy. The Behavioral Approach. B.F. Skinner and John Watson. John Watson. The Behaviorist Movement began in 1913. John Watson wrote an article entitled Psychology as the Behaviorist Views It. This set out a number of underlying assumptions regarding methodology and behavioral analysis. Watson believed that psychology should primarily be scientific observable behavior. He is remembered for his research on the conditioning process, as well as the Little Albert experiment, in which he demonstrated that a child could be conditioned to fear a previously neutral stimulus. Behaviorism is primarily concerned with observable behavior, as opposed to internal events like thinking and emotion. The advantage of behaviorism is its ability to define behavior clearly and to measure changes in behavior. Albert Ellis quote, We teach people that they upset themselves. We cannot change the past, so we change how people are thinking, feeling and behaving today. The premise. Behavior can be controlled by consequences. A type of reinforcement following the behavior. Behavior and learning theorists emphasize experience and learning as the primary forces that shape human behavior. While behaviorists often accept the existence of cognitions and emotions, they prefer to study them as observable, external. This can be objectively and scientifically measured. Therefore, internal events, such as thinking should be explained through behavioral terms or eliminated altogether. There is no clear-cut concept of personality. Only behaviors. You mainly feel the way you think. Albert Ellis. What is behaviorism all about? Behavioral psychology is the study of external behavior. Behavior is objective and observable, whereas what goes on in one's mind can never really be known or measured. The mind is a black box. Behavior is the response of an organism to stimuli. Behavior is the result of stimulus response. All behavior, no matter how complex, can be reduced to a simple stimulus response association. Watson described the purpose of psychology. To predict, given the stimulus, what reaction will take place, or, given the reaction, state what the situation or stimulus is that has caused the reaction. Albert Ellis quote, I get people to truly accept themselves unconditionally, whether or not their therapist or anyone loves them. B. F. Skinner 1904-1990 an American psychologist who was influential from the 1930s to the 1960s. Skinner developed the concept of operant conditioning. Skinner was initially interested in education. He believed that behavior is sustained by reinforcements or rewards, not by free will. He was famous for the Skinner box. He often worked with pigeons and rats and applied what he learned with these animals to humans. Operant conditioning. This involves conditioning voluntary, controllable behaviors. Not the automatic physiological responses in classical conditioning. With operant conditioning the response comes before the stimulus, the opposite of CC. Positive reinforcement and negative reinforcement. Positive reinforcement, strengthen response by providing desirable rewards. An example is the token economy. 
Negative reinforcement, strengthen response by removing aversive stimuli. Example would be, prisoner's early release for good behavior. Please proceed to part B of unit 2.